Aloha, everybody, and welcome to the final part of DuckTales 2. So we visited every area except for Egypt, and we need to get the treasure of the Nile. But uh, one thing I should mention before you go to your last location, uh, if you're going there, make sure that you're getting the last treasure map there, and if you're not, then get Launchpad McQuack to take you back, because as soon as you finish all five levels, the final boss will initiate right away, and you can't backtrack it from that point. Like, you just go right to the final boss and right to the ending. So if you didn't get the lost treasure of McDuck, then you're screwed. You know, final boss kind of got in your way. I no! <laughs> Reminds me so much of Quackshot. Again, I did an LP of that. You should check it out. It stars Donald Duck! You know, has him flying around with Huey, Dewey, and Louie across the world looking for treasure as well. Very similar, but it was a Sega Genesis platformer. He had a plunger gun. Plunger guns are always fun. So check it out, kids. It was a good video. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. <laughs> but, um... So yeah, the point is, if you don't have all the treasure map pieces and you're on the last level, don't finish it. Because you won't get the best ending if you don't have all the treasure map pieces. But I do have all the treasure map pieces up to this point, so I'm good. So what you want to do is smash through there, and... Oh, there's Dewey. There's something right on this wall, let's see. One is three, three is two, four is one. I'm gonna pay attention to that, memorize that, memorize that, memorize that. And two is four. What's that supposed to mean? This is a puzzle. So when it says one is three, well, we're gonna come up to the left here, after we get through this little platforming thing. It's like reappearing, disappearing blocks, only not as dickish. Again, the same people who made Mega Man. <laughs> but here are the numbered blocks. One is three means you have to pogo the one button three times. And then you have to do the other things just like how Dewey said. Once you do all that, the door will open. It can be a little bit confusing, because one would think, like, one is three. Maybe you have to push three first? And then two and whatever, blah, blah, blah. So uh, that's how it works. One is three means you hit one three times. And yeah. Pay attention to what Dewey said. It's always going to be the same thing every time you play the game. So if you memorized it and played it for years, you already know what it is, but still. That is where the last piece of the treasure map is. I am immediately taken out of the level. And now we're going to look for the treasure of McDuck. The lost treasure of McDuck. Great Scott! <laughs> Judging from this map, the great treasure of McDuck is in the basement of the castle we were just in! Uncle Scrooge, let's go back and find it. So yeah, it's in Scotland. Uh, this hidden level ha is pretty multiple pathy, actually. There's like multiple ways to get to the boss room, which I think is pretty, uh, pretty fun. But, uh, is it the hardest level in the game? Eh, kinda. If you, if you take the right pathways, it's really not that bad, but some of the pathways are going to be a little bit dangerous. A lot of bottomless pit territory, a lot of you falling in the water and drowning because you couldn't possibly survive, you know. Falling platforms, that's always fun. Let's go down here. Ah, invisible floor. Had to be a platform there for a reason. <laughs> Gotta duck when the rafts are coming up to an obstacle like that. Don't want to knock your head and fall right off. I- oh, I should have held left. <laughs> and surprise spikes. So if you weren't pogoing, that would have hurt. But luckily, I was pogoing. Pogoing. I like saying that. Pogoing. I was pogoing. I don't know. Anywho, um... So yeah, a reminder, you know, make sure you get all the treasure map pieces before you finish all five levels. Otherwise, you won't get the best ending. Once we beat this level, we will find the treasure of McDuck. Better be something awesome. Take that crab. <laughs> Jump on the crab's head for maximum damage. Oh, wait, that's not it. But anywho, the boss of the hidden area is the Warlock. Yeah, the Warlock is back again. Uh, this time around, his projectile will transform you into a frog. Oh god! Oh god! Final Fantasy IV all over again. Damn that fucking village of mages. 
I'm sorry I stole the crystal! Anywho. Uh, the, again, the projectile is the only thing he'll really do. He doesn't do the summoning lightning, he doesn't do uh, anything else but this. Uh, so there's a little bit of delay, you just want to make sure you bounce after he shoots it. Uh, honestly, it's the same fight though, just when, as soon as he becomes visible, you can walk up to him easily and whack him, and he's just a pretty... Eh, it's just the same boss fight we saw before. Only he can turn you into a frog. Because he's a... he's a jerk. <laughs> but we got the lost treasure of McDuck, ladies and gentlemen. That was it. It was just this little red, little shiny jewel thing. So how about that? But, uh, you know, we still got some game left, so let's go back to Egypt and finish this level so that we can move on to the final boss and whatnot. I should mention that another thing is that, um, there are two Tuckdale- Blah! This is it for the DuckTales games until, uh, DuckTales Remastered, when it comes out, uh, Aug in August, actually. I think they- I think they set a release date. It's- it's coming to Wii U and PlayStation 3 August 14th, I believe. And it's coming to Xbox Live September 11th. I don't know why it's taking so long for Xbox to get it, but maybe it's because their policies are so fucking stupid. Uh, or they used to be. But no, they still have that dumb Kinect in there. It's gonna monitor and have a camera on you the whole time. And I'm not talking about the Xbox One. It's a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> Point is, DuckTales Remastered is coming out soon. Uh, the only other DuckTales games that exist, to my knowledge, are DuckTales 1 and 2 on the Game Boy, because this game also came out for the Game Boy. Uh, I've seen videos of it, I haven't actually played it firsthand. Um, it seems to be a little bit different, but not really. Like, you're still gonna go through the same levels, like Amazon, the Moon, uh, Himalayan Falls, and when you play DuckTales 2 on Game Boy, it's still Niagara Falls, Egypt, Scotland, etc. Um, but, you know, it's just Game Boy, and so the colors are all black and white, and the music's pretty much the same. It's still an 8-bit game, you know. It still feels like DuckTales. You're still pogoing and everything, but I, I don't know how the Game Boy versions of DuckTales are. I don't know if they're super good or super bad or anything. Uh, but, you know, if you're looking to try them up for yourself, find a copy and tell me how they are, and maybe they're good. I've never played the Game Boy versions of DuckTales, though, so, you know. I am excited for DuckTales Remastered, though. Uh, so this level's pretty fun. There are so many hidden treasures in Egypt. There are so many, like, little rooms you can go into and little pathways you can take. It's just, this place is chock-filled with all kinds of treasure. That should be mentioned, I'm sure you've seen it in the video already, but I can't pogo onto the sinking sand. So that's why I'm trying to make sure I don't go into it too much. Uh, it takes a while for it to kill you. And you can always jump out of it, you know. It's just like the typical video game Sinking Sand, where, like, you go down a, a little bit more as you're standing in it, but, you know. As long as you just keep jumping, you'll be fine. Shift to gem, and let's go over here, and more gems! Woohoo! And then it just takes us back to Launchpad. <laughs> That snake always jumps when he comes near you. That is his little video game AI. That's how he works. Anywho, uh, Huey told us that there was something about a mirror and it getting, you know, touched by sunlight or whatever. I forget what he said, but this is a really simple puzzle. Just pull it. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> Who could have ever figured that out? Either way, we got another lost treasure, and that gets you one million dollars! For wealth and squala! In order to get those treasure chests on the left over there, we want to let the sinking sand look at us under a little bit, and then just go with the wall, you know? Like I said, the sinking sand isn't too bad to deal with. Keep jumping, you'll be fine. Ah, snake! <laughs> Why did it have to be snakes? And there's another hidden treasure over here. Let's go left, and we get 50,000. I'm not going for 10 million, because, you know, it doesn't matter to the best ending or anything, but goddamn. There's a lot of money to collect. 
I don't know if the lost treasures spawn when you replay a level. I, I, I know that the other treasures do. I'm not sure if, like, the lost treasure, one million dollar, like, mirror and stuff will respawn. I kind of doubt it. They didn't in the first game. Like, if you replayed the moon a second time, you wouldn't get that one lost treasure in the top right area. So I, I kind of doubt it does with DuckTales 2. Oh yeah, this guy's simple. He jumps out of the quicksand, lands on the block he's facing, and then he shoots a lightning bolt. Jump over that, he'll go back in the sand, you can bounce on him while he goes into the sand. Uh, pretty simple strategy. He's a little bit fast, but as long as you're staying on the blocks, as long as you're paying attention to where he's facing when he rises from the sand, uh, you should be able to dodge all of his, his movements and his lightning bolt thing. And that is the mummy duck. We beat every level in the game, ladies and gentlemen, but there's still one more thing to do. Uncle Scrooge! Uncle Scrooge! It's terrible! Webby's been kidnapped! God damn it! If you want Webby back, Scrooge, meet me at my ship! Flint Heart Glomgold, you son of a bitch! Can't you just accept that I'm the richest duck in the world? Can't you just accept that I have more money than you? What's your problem? And shave that beard! <laughs> anyway, we're back in Bermuda, but we're not going back the original pathway. We're now going to the right, which was originally blocked off by a metal wall. And uh, we're heading to the final boss. Final boss is pretty amazing. I love this. I've been waiting for you, Scrooge. I'll be taking those treasures now. So Scrooge, because he needs to get Webby back, he gives back. He gives Flintheart all of his money. And now. Let me show you something in return! It's... Oh my god! This is the D-1000. I'm not kidding. The D-1000. <laughs> he's a liquid metal. He's a liquid metal duck. And he's actually kind of... Well, not really hard. He has one little thing. As long as you're ducking, he will never hurt you. You can duck the entire fight and he will never hurt you. All he does is he grabs the ceiling and he sticks his leg out, right? And all you're supposed to do is bounce on him and bounce on his hand right soon as he lands, you know? Uh, his hand, you can, literally all you have to do is bounce on his hand. He could go like halfway to the ceiling and you can like, as long as you're above the hand and you bounce on it with your pogo stick, uh, you'll damage it. And that's it, really. You hit it like five times and that's it. That was the final boss. <laughs> the D-1000 is liquid metal. Oh no, the treasures, they all sank into the sea. Oh god! We spent all that time collecting that money! Hi! It's too bad we lost all the treasures. But at least we've got each other. Ah, This is why Scrooge McDuck is more endearing than Flintheart Glomgold. He's still a nice guy at heart. He just happens to love money way too much. <laughs> I suppose that true friendship is all you really need for happiness. Ah. So, uh, this is where the ending sort of div diverges. Uh, again, if you got the bad ending, you had, if you had no money, Flintheart Glomgold actually ends up with the treasure, and he wins. And your, your characters are like, ah, that Flintheart, we'll get him next time. That's not all of it! Here, he's showing off the treasure of McDuck. If I didn't get the treasure of McDuck, they'd, they'd be going, Oh, we found the treasure! Like, Lodgepad would bring it out of the water, and they'd be like, Oh, we found the treasure! But what was up with that treasure of McDuck? Uh, what happened to that? I guess we'll never know! And then it cuts to the end. So, this is why this is the best ending. We didn't lose our money to Flintheart. We found the lost treasure of McDuck. It was under Scrooge's hat the whole time. And, uh, everything is right and nice in the world. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is DuckTales 2. Uh, again, I don't think they made a DuckTales game for Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo, not to my knowledge, I looked it up. Uh, and now, you know, I just wanted to share my love of DuckTales. These two games for the NES are fantastic. The Pogo gameplay is great, the exploration is awesome, and the TV show, if you haven't seen it, DuckTales is fantastic. Uh, I would recommend checking it out. Um, and yeah, that's DuckTales. Uh, again, I really wanted to do these two games because I wanted to celebrate the fact that WayForward were doing DuckTales Remastered, and it's coming out next month, and I can't wait to play it. Uh, I don't know if I'll do an LP on that one, maybe, if it's good. 
if I want it. <laughs> See if my video recording software gets better. Uh, but, you know, it has been fun, and I love this music. Very catchy. But I hope I got you guys in the mood for DuckTales. I, I really want people to get DuckTales Remastered, because it looks like a super fun game. Anyway, that has been DuckTales 2. Uh, I got nothing else. <laughs> I will be disappearing for a bit because of my laptop, but uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I am the great Clement Toodles.